Right, welcome back everyone. We're going to the Amazon now. The Amazon is great. We like the Amazon. So let's go to the Amazon. Nah, we're going to take our sniper D rifle with us for some sniper D in because I haven't shown it off yet. But mainly for some sniper D. So we're off to Mountain Ruin. This is the all screwed screen for this level. It celebrates the fact that everywhere is now full of heavy units. There's one over there in the corner which you can't really see properly. There's the one standing up here that we saw in the update with Hotshot. He's going, no, oh, what a lovely view. And this one's guarding the bridge. <laughs> Half this bridge has been stolen already. And this one too. Good lord. They're stealing all our bridges. Putting them in other video games. That's not on. We're going to stop them. That's what we're going to do. And we've got the uh, two dropships racing each other. Ah, yeah, race you. Hee <laughs> Ice lollies. Wee. Right. So we use the sniper rifle. And a red cursor appears over his head. Which means we can blow him up in one shot. There are only a few exceptions to the rule that lookout kills everything in one shot. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, those are these things, which don't have a critical hit location, those are bosses, obviously, and those are heavy units, which while they do have a critical hit location, take three hits from lookout, not one. Uh, unless you're playing in a higher mode than this, in which case they take even more than that. I believe that um, heavy units are as tough as the first bosses on recruit, if um, every time you fight them. Which sounds stupid. Alright, he's out there, he's looking out over the view, he's going, This reminds me of my long walks with Beth. Back in the... Oh, God! I'm never going to see Beth again. Don't worry, we'll make you into a toaster and you'll be able to serve her better than anyway. Oh, thank you. Right, so we've got the heavy unit there. He's guarding Hailstorm, which is a blue quad rocket launcher. We want that. That is Firefight, which is a yellow blaster. We want that too. And behind there is a Tractor, which is a stupid green gimmick weapon. And we want that as well, for some reason. Mainly because you need a given number of minicons to activate the last level. Uh, how many depends on your skill level. So we're going to zoom in on him. We've got to snipe him first because we don't want him hanging around up there while we're trying to glide to the minicon. What have you? Oh! Oh, good lord! Someone's trying to snipe at me! I'd better turn around. Good thing that the AI in this game allows me to know exactly where he is. There you are, you villain. I'll try to fire my rockets. Oh! Ow! Oh, I'm on fire. That's not... Oh! Oh dear! I hope my drivetrain warranty covers that. Don't worry, it will. Way. Yeah, I believe his rockets have unlimited range and he could have actually hit us if he'd gone onto the stage of his attack cycle where he was firing them. Luckily he didn't, thankfully. Right, that is about as high as we can legitimately get in this uh, stage. You can get higher by being shot by a spider tank, which can get you uh, right up to the top of the uh, steps over there. But we're going to use some trickery, some kraut treachery. Sounds like orc mischief to me. We're going to make our way across here. We're going to do a power links jump. I don't know how I did this. Uh, well, I did it by pressing the wrong button, but I don't know why it worked. So, for some reason, that does work. So, we make our way up here, make our way along here, we fall off, it takes us three tries to get back up on here, because I'm incredibly stupid. We clonk, 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 and, yeah, that's better. Right, so we're going to start, we're going to glide over to that. So, let's get glided -y. Now, you'll notice that the wings can't back as you dive downwards, which uh, is you acquiring speed. If the wings can't fully forwards, um, and you keep trying to pull up, you will stall. If you stall, the wings will fold away, and you will fall. If you fall, you will... Something else that rhymes with stall and fall. You will tall. Oh no, you will tall. Right. Uh, hard landing to make here, so fuck it. Clunk. Perfect landing. Right, pick this guy up, this hailstorm. As mentioned, he is a blue quad rocket launcher. He is a very, very powerful minicon, and we'll be showing him off in the next section of this video. For now, however, we're not going to use him. We're going to use Tractor instead. So, we're going to attach the dirty button anyway for one whole second. And let's go. You might just be able to see the glow from Tractor, but you probably can't. It's there. It's one of the more obscure minicons on this level. It's one of the ones that uh, Shepard is good for finding when you first play the game. And clunk again. More dignified landings. Right, so we're going to pick up Tractor. We're going to pick up Tractor. Oh yeah, he allows us to farm our fields. He does. He's a Tractor minicon. We're going to put him on, on the button there. And he's going to hook up our plow to him. And we're going to drive him around a bit. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually originally from Somersetshire, so um, I, I can do that voice quite well. 
But uh, I fucked it up. So never mind. Right. Anyway, we're gonna pick up this guy. We're gonna pick up this guy. Ha! Ah, fuck off. Ah! Oh, good lord! Crunch. Okay. And pick this guy up. You can actually see him crash into the wall. It's a nice gimmick, but the fact is there are too many enemy types it just doesn't do anything to for this to be particularly effective. The other problem is that the beam gets in the way and you can't see if you've actually picked something up or not. There's no visual confirmation of it. He's going, oh god no, fuck you Newton! Crash. So that's him out of the way. We are now going to activate this warp portal, locate the energy gentleman, defend at all costs. No, fuck, that's Dork 2. Uh, we're not going to do that at all because Dork 2 sucked and was shitty. Uh, it, it's... It's, it's abysmal. I was going to LP it at one stage, actually, but then I, I, I do go back up and find out it's, it's, it's actually impossible to control the fucking thing. I don't know why I ever thought it was playable. Right, so anyway, now we come back with Hailstorm and we've got Hawkeye. So we are going to use both against these people. Well, we're not going to use Hawkeye. I lied. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Right, so a few shots from Hailstorm and he's dead. Take that, everything. A heavy unit will take four shots from Hailstorm. A heavy unit will take three shots from Lookout, and we are going to see how powerful our new blaster is by this standard. So remember, four shots from Hailstorm normally. You got that? Four. Right, we're going to transform jump up here. I said we're going to transform jump up here. We and wahey, kadong. That is the traditional method of getting up there. So we make our way along here, we stop, we turn, and we're going over there. There is a mean trick played on us here, however. A mean, mean trick. What is the mean trick? Well, there's a clearing around that minicon, and you'll think, Oh, I should land in the clearing. I'll be all glorious and stuff. And then the game goes, ah, ha, 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 ha. Because in that clearing are waiting three spider tanks. And their mean physics beam can shoot you out of the air and into the river down there. Now, in the river down there, there is no easy way to either A, die, or B, get back to a safe point. Which means you have a long slog along the river in order to get back and make another attack from Mountain Ruin. You often might as well just um, whack quit and um, go back into your game that way. It takes less time. So it's not fun. Right, so we're going to land in the trees behind the clearing instead. Or rather, we're going to crash into one of the trees behind the clearing instead, because they're quite dense, and the simple fact is... The idea of not crashing here is ridiculous. What you're trying to do is not hit the outer set of trees. If you hit the outer set of trees, then you're usually falling to the river. Clunk. So you want to hit one of the inner set of trees. Like that. Another perfect landing. Uh. Right, so we got uh, three spider tanks to deal with. How do we deal with three spider tanks? Bear in mind, they can still shoot us off this platform even now. Uh, during my test run for this, I actually got shot into a tree by one of them. Uh, I almost got knocked off the platform, but didn't. Okay, so the way we deal with them is two power links, strangely enough. Uh, what we want to do is concentrate all our fire on one, on each one, one at a time, and that will allow us to constantly recharge our energon so that we make up for the drain from power links mode. This is the good way to use power links mode. It's the effective way to use power links mode. So we've got one left, and now we've got none left. Right, that was that. That was actually quite easy. It was a lot easier than uh, when I did it in my practice run, when I got shotted. So, our reward for this is this little dude. This is a super heavy blaster firefight. He's got one gun for an arm, one gun for an arm, one gun for an arm. Oh, yes. Um, instead of two, which, uh, of course, Skirmish had. But, for some reason, this makes firefight better rather than worse. Go figure. Right, well, we had a brief loading uh, saving cause, which uh, you occasionally get for no obvious reason. What does uh, Firefight do then? Well, he is a charge up cannon, he charges up his cannon. Here we go. You make a big ball, it slightly obscures your vision forwards, it uh, makes the screen vibrate, it makes the controller vibrate, which is really annoying, and it makes that irritating humming sound. But for all of that, you get a ludicrously powerful discharge. We also now have a blue plus yellow minicom bonus. You will see just how much energy that gives us in a minute. Take this, you. Oh, good lord. That was dashedly awful of your Optimus Prime. I don't like that at all. See, look at all this energy we're getting. So we're going to charge up our cannon. Now, how far, how high you can charge up your cannon depends on how much minicon energy you have when you start charging the cannon. So, if you've been firing it normally a bit, then you won't be able to charge it up as high. Take that tree. Oh, you're trying to blow up my trees, Optimus Prime. I'm the guardian of the forest. I won't allow it. I'm not going to allow you to blow up these poor innocent trees. I'll fire my missiles around. That's sure to help the situation. Oh. Oh dear. That didn't happen in Princess Mononoke. 
Right, okay, so we've now got our full amount of energy on. Check it out, we've got loads of health now. As I think I said in the previous video, the best Minicon boost is yellow plus purple, but that requires you to take Minicons that are shit. Um, yellow is actually a, f a good full team on its own. You get uh, Slipstream, you would get uh, Firefight, which is a very good blaster, uh, Deflector, and Full Speed. Because Full Speed can go on the R2 button, as well as the L2 button. It's one of those very flexible miniguns. Well, we're going to Fowling, it's going to kill off all these guys. We could have just jumped through the warp bottle, but that's cowardly and stupid. We've got people to destroy first. We've got body parts to scatter across the landscape. The heavy unit's there, and he's all like, Oh, God! Modern Matrix type effects. Those weren't around 30 years ago, you know. I was. Now I've been around for 60 years. Back then, we called them bulletons. And it was all glorious back then, you see. Hitler was on the throne. Oh dear! I've forgotten everything. Ow! So he blows up. The blasted king failed him again. Right, so we've got to deal with the stragglers. You, stop straggling. I don't want to stop straggling! Ow! Oh god! Right, uh, so there's two left now. These two, they're over here, so we're going to shoot them. Oh, that didn't work at all. That worked a lot better. So, not the one left there. And he is going to blowed, and we have one final one left here. Who is going to be oddly evasive. You don't think you can evade this? Ah, I couldn't evade it. I just couldn't evade it, Mr. Smith. I tried, I tried so hard, but I failed. I failed miserably. Right, okay, so we're going to uh, overkill that guy, only we're not. Somehow he survived that. And you're like, you, how did you survive? You're not going to survive this. Get in the sea. I can't swim! Tough. Ah! There's, that's the result of Decepticons being unable to swim. They die. So, we're going to go over there, we're going to press that button. You're, you guys are going to go on to the next video in about 20 seconds time. Unless you decide to end the video here for some reason, in which case it's not going to be 20 seconds of time, and, well, fuck you. You're ruining everything, god damn you. Right, I have been Evil Tim, again. Uh, you are to proceed forth into the Antarctical, unless you have skipped forward to the carrier battle, in which case you're not watching this, and I don't know how the hell you did.